Hey guys, so we got a quick first look here on some benchmarking tests, uh, the new Transformer Prime, the first quad-core tablet versus the iPad 2. Um, so this, these tests are maybe not the best, but not the best right now, um, but uh, yeah, that's what we have right now. We have three different tests that Slash Gear has been doing. The first two are basically browser tests and that's like uh, you know testing milliseconds of JavaScript so may not be that interesting but you know still you know kind of interesting to compare it against you know the first transformer because that they also tested that one out and then we also have another test here with the browser mark uh, which higher score is better and then they also made the most interesting test is the GL benchmarking test uh, 2.1 that was testing out like the GPUs um, so when they start off uh, with the browser test, it's basically the Sun Spider test. And you know, if we look here on milliseconds, we can see that the Transformer Prime got 1685 milliseconds, the iPad 2, 1800 milliseconds, and the first Transformer Prime, 2200 milliseconds. Now, these are you know things that you won't you know, like be able to see when you're browsing. Uh, won't be like a difference or something like that. So I mean, okay, the transform problem. Yes, it's it's a little better But you know you have to probably try these things multiple times to get a good score I'm sure if they did that uh, and then we also have another browser test here browser mark uh, the transform prime the quad quartile beats the iPad 2 slightly by getting a score of 100,960 uh, versus the iPad 2 that got 98,437 and the first transformer 80,000. Um, and then we have the open GL or not no, the GL benchmarking test 2.1 that's where we're both in iOS and Android and here we can actually see that iPad 2 is still the winner uh, it getting you know in first the uh, GL benchmark 2.1 Egypt has gets 9827 frames uh, while the transformer prime is getting 6800 frames and on the other test here the benchmarking 2.1 pro uh, the ip2 gets 7490 frames versus the transform prime that gets 3634 frames um so i mean this is very very interesting uh and you know these tests aren't the best right now um because you know there are multiple things that you have to consider first of all i think that the uh, transform prime is currently running on Honeycomb and a 3.1 or something like that and I'm not even sure if they have optimized it to use quad core um, and I mean browser tests that's like you know you, you use a single core I want to see you know more tests like in gaming uh, you know real performance and stuff like that and what I've seen uh, Android format though as you said, should come with you know more hardware acceleration um, so I'm, I'm not just protecting the Transform Prime right now. The iPad 2 is better in this test, uh, the GL benchmarking test. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to, you know, see uh, what's going to happen, uh, you know, a Android, Android 3.1 uh, versus uh, the Android 4.0, see how you know how that would change the performance uh but you know i also want to see some you know real performance like in gaming uh, because we've seen that the quad core should be kind of good in that i also want to see um you know test the multitasking i mean with quad core you should be able to have you know a ton of stuff up and running and uh, you know because you know it's a lot of power behind that and the ios it's definitely really extremely awesomely optimized uh, but you know android is getting up there i mean if you look at the geo benchmarking test here on the first transformer that we got like this year uh on the egypt uh, test it got 2600 frames while the transform prime got almost 7k uh, on the pro test the first transformer pad asus e pad uh, got uh, 2000 frames versus the transform prime that doubled that like 3600 it would almost double that so i mean the android tablets and you know the gpus and everything it's getting up there and uh, apple they need to you know continue to do stuff and innovate or else 
they will get pulsed. Um, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, when when these tests, you know, more uh, things pop up. Also, what you should remember is that there's some things here like. Uh, first of all, the Transform Prime has a little high resolution, uh, and that's also that you that's something that you should consider. Uh, 1280 by 800 uh, versus the iPad 2 that comes with a uh, 768 uh, times uh, 1024 resolution. So I mean, it, it's it's gonna be an interesting year next year, and also uh, to see other you know quad core tablet to see uh, what kind of specs they are going to get and uh, everything so we have an interesting tablet year 2012 coming up um and uh, yeah see you.